We are talking once again with Rabbi Leib Trapper and Shoal and Meshiv, dealing with hashkafas on life. And one of the major things that we need to have hashkafa on is how we contend with the um, the foe known as the Yetzirah, the negative inclination. I mean, what does the Yetzirah do that makes it so hard to surmount his challenges to us? The Gemara and Brachas, because I know that usually Shal is more abbreviated than the other discussion, but the, um, the Gemara says in Brachas that Mishayim uh, Yitran <coughs> Shaiftam, the who will be the judge? Who is the judge for the for wicked people? The Yetzirah. And the Gra explains that Rishayim doesn't mean judging them. The Gra explains that it means he is the one who leads them and is madrich them and directs them to, in their life. That's what it means, Yitzhara Shaiftam. So it's interesting, the, 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 the uh, Rabbi Zalman Meltzer, Zechariah Levracha, asked a Kash in the name of Rabbi Zalman Petterberg. Fascinating question he asked. The Gemara says in the Dharm Daf Test, the Gemara says, Rishayim Malayim Charotis. Rishayim constantly have Charota. Right? So let's, let's analyze this. A Russian did something bad, and he has Charota. Did something bad, and he has Charota. So what do we, how can we say that the Rishayim are, are totally driven by the Yetzirah if you see they have these interruptions regularly and they have Malayim um, Charotas, they're full of Charota. The truth of the matter is, in the Chayv Salavavis in Shah Yichud, Yichud Hashem, he writes that the Yetzirah is man's worst enemy. He tries to befriend you, but he's his real, really, he's really your enemy. He's my, he's my brother, and he's my Esau. He's the one who wants to destroy me. <coughs> it's a big mistake. Parents, it's a very big mistake for a person, and we all learn this in life. It's a big mistake to think that all the Yitzhara wants you to do is, is to commit a virus. No, no. Yitzhara wants to ruin one person's life. Do the Avera. 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 What's going with, What's with me? What's with me? There's confusion. There's turbulence in my life. I feel like nothing. I feel like it's impossible for me to maintain any position myself where I'm standing, when I'm not doing what I am. Rishayim Aleim Charotas is the tactic of the Yitzhahara to not just to be mach to you, but to destroy one's life. Besides, of course, being mach to one person. But that's not his ultimate goal. His goal is to destroy you as a person so you won't be able to even think about doing mitzvahs. You, you, you're just totally mixed up. You don't, you don't understand. That's how what the Yitzhahara has in mind. That's what one has to surmount. It has to be in mind that has to surmount that. When he comes to a Nisayan or to an Avera, he has to surmount, he has to think. And I, myself included, like everybody else, we have to think about what does he really want from us, the Yetzirah? If you only think it's an Avera, so sometimes you say, okay, so I didn't want Avera, fine, I'm two guys, whatever. But if you think it's just to destroy one's life, that's a whole different story, parents. During this time of year, or really during any time of year, but particularly um, in the Yom and Arroyim, how would we understand what Hashem's message to us is, the purpose of, of these days, and the purpose of tshuva, actually, which is something we do all year round, but especially during this propitious time. What is Hashem's message to us that we should understand clearly and be focused on? You know, I heard many years ago, from Rabbi Shu, uh, quoted from Yish, Rabbi Shua Leib Diskin, who was the Mamish, the Malach Kim uh, of the generation, people... Shuleib, Shuleib Diskin was pachat pachadim to be near him during davening, particularly in, in, in these days. Um, it was just the pachat to be with him. And that pachat comes from the Abishan, not from, not, from, not from his own cre- generating fear. Um, Shuleib said very bikitsa, he said. It's, it's very simple, but yet very emotional. He says, Umalta, Umala Amol Hashem, Eslavavcha, Eslavav Zarecha. Ahavas Hashem, God would circumcise your heart, your the foreskin of your heart that's blocking everything from entering into you. He will circumcise that. Kodesh Baruch Hu Ba'atzmai. Ahavas Hashem, to love a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Hashem Al-Kecha. Bechol Levavcha. Love Hashem, Kodesh Baruch Hu. Hashem Al-Kecha. Bechol Levavcha. Bechol Levavcha. To love Him with all your heart. And all your might. Laman Chayecha. 
for you to live. The whole purpose of this Muhammad Sahara again is not just becoming closer to Hashem. The soul is crying out to you and telling you, I want to live. I want to live. Don't push me aside. Don't put something on top of me. Don't make it miserable for me. It's for your life. That Kaddish Baruch Hu will circumcise the, the Eight Sahara and open up the gates of your heart that all the good things should come in and, and the closest that you want with the Abishta. The distance that you feel would just totally dissolve into a oneness with Hakadosh Baruch Hu. So that's the goal. That's the goal. The goal of tshuva is l'man chayecha to live. Parents, so if somebody asks you, parents like, well, what is this? if son asks you, what's this Indian of tshuva? You should live l'man chayecha. It's possible because it's in the You can look at the Indian. Mol Hashem. You should live. How do we begin to approach a Kaddish Baruch Hu, knowing that that's the goal, when all around us there's storm and stress and frenzy and El slips by and the next moment we're at the door of Rosh Hashanah. How do we begin to approach a Kaddish Baruch Hu, and how do we get ourselves removed from the frenzy when all of a sudden we say, oh, here it is, it's, it's time. And we've barely okay. begun to prepare. So I want to tell you what Moron Harav El Yashiv once said in one of his drushes. About, um, it wasn't a direct question I think that you're, you're, you're expressing. But what he said applies to your question. There's a lot of years coming and feeling that you, you, I'm so beyond I can't. Like, how do I get it? And especially when you have... But no, you know, yeah, you, you come home at Rosh Hashanah like two hours before living benching. I mean, how are you supposed to get into Rosh Hashanah? And particularly Yom Kippur. So Rabbi Yosha said like this. He says the Pasuk, I have to take Yishma. I love when a Kodesh Baruch Hu listens to my voice. Shem Hashem is great. Omra Knesset Yisrael. The body of Klai Yisrael speaks, echoes the sentiment that they all have together. Rebbein Yisraelam. Amos and Yahuvullah Fanacha, when am I really love to you? Bizman Shetishma Kol Tachanunai, when you're going to hear my voice and pleading. So he brought down this from the Siv and uh, said that he heard it from his Rebbe of Bengis, the Chaman of Rahab of Bengis. But that head of the Badats near Shalim. It was Tom of Lashiv that he was a going out of Bengis, Tom of Belogian. When we used to learn shas while waiting online? I don't know about that story, but I know that he was Tom Muvik of Volosian. So he said, first thing we have to try to do is Hashem should hear my voice. What does that mean? Hashem doesn't have to hear my heart at the beginning. He doesn't have to hear your heart. He wants your voice to say your voice. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. He doesn't have to hear now the voice, all, everything. We wish we continue to explain that there is. We say in Davening and Hashanah, I mean, Kippur, Kedalamu Kuroshim Dafaknum Dalasech, like poor, indigent people, we knock on your door. So, what does that mean? It means. We come to the Ebishtah. We know that there's a Seder of Chua. There's Vidui, Chavata Allah Ovar, Kabbalah Allah Osid. There's a Seder. Poor man, when he goes to snack some dogs because he needs some food to eat, they may be holding in the middle of the meal and they give him some chicken. He's still hungry because he hasn't yet. Then he runs to another door and then he, they're holding by the fish. They're still holding first at the fish with what you call the First place, right? And then he goes out again, he goes to another person, they're holding by the dessert. But he takes whatever he can get because he has no choice. We're the poor people. We're begging you for tshuva. Forget about the order. Forget about what comes first. Whether the first spice or the after spice. We come to you like the poor indigent people. 
people who are hungry for you. Take our tefillahs, take our koil, our voice, without necessarily having the order that the Chazal require. We need you, Rabbi Nishalayla. I wish everybody a Ksiv Bachasim Ataiva, should be gebenched. Serious service to all of Klai Yisrael. I want to end with one small thought regarding people are smelling Mashiach in the air, the redolence of Mashiach, because of the tsaris, maybe it smells, it smells so good, but it smells. People, the Gemara says in the Sahaja Amra Biyasi, Yisei Valeach Mine, that Mashiach should come. I don't want to be there when Mashiach comes. So much tsaris. So much tsaris. So the famous Rebbe during World War II, Eish Kaidish, Peace out to the Rebbe, Enikel from the Boydish Israel. He says, I don't understand when I go to a dentist, it's painful, but after it's a total relief, why does he want to, why does he want to be there? I mean, it's going to be over soon. He said to him, who, who, who was himself, had to live through this, said, no, it's not me. I can't see somebody else in pain. Mashiach Yesus said, I can, the Mashiach come, but I don't want to watch somebody else suffer. I don't want to watch Kalei Yisrael suffer. I don't want to watch this lose his child. I don't want this other to be killed in one war. I don't want somebody to lose his parnasa. I don't want somebody to have lack of shalom bias in their home. I can't watch it. I can't watch it. Yesev le'ach amine. Well, we hope to see Mashiach come as Hashem is I hope it will come in a painless fashion. We wish we will say that our Kajbaruch Hashem Akabal, our Kail, Kishama as Kail, Shama as Kali Tachanunayin, our voice of our pleadings. It's the voice even, not even the heart. Hashem wants it. Thank you so much. And again, Ksiva v'chasim to all of you.